never conquer us, Britain. Yes, we will. You will never conquer us. Yes, we will. Good work, my boy. It is 1916 and Europe has become the better ground for the Great War. Europe is in a dire situation and both sides are in a stalemate. Trench warfare has spread from the docks of northern France to the Alps in Switzerland. Both sides are eager to break the stalemate and the first idea to do this is to open new fronts. Britain decides to open a new front in the Middle East. Britain with the help of Hashemites from the Allies. While the central powers were Ottoman Empire and German Empire plus Jabal Shaman. If you think these two people are from the same dynasty, you are wrong because they are two different families ruling two different kingdoms. Hashemites ruling the Jordan and the Sauds rule Saudi Arabia. In 1916, the British General Lawrence signed an agreement with the Sheriff of Jaz, Sheriff Hussein, to give them a great Arab state in return for support. The Arab revolt was a conflict between the Arab tribes and the Ottoman forces. The first target of the Arab was the Istanbul Medina Hejaz Railway. The Arabs put bomb traps on trains and blew them up causing a loss of many valuable supplies, including food and ammunition. Secondly, they would raid Ottoman bases in the desert, capturing a lot of guns and equipment in the Lawrence of Arabia. These efforts had one sole purpose of blocking supplies and reinforcements into Medina to capture it. In 1916, Arab forces with the help of British forces and some Ottoman Arabs besieged the city of Medina for three years in harsh conditions. The Ottoman garrison under Fakhreddin Pasha of the Ottoman 4th Army was a person who would never surrender an inch of Ottoman land, let alone the holy city of Medina. In the end, soldiers of the garrison surrendered and left alone the Pasha with no choice but to retreat. The armistice between the Arab forces occurred in 1919 after the Yom Kippur Revolution. If you think this agreement is the 100 years agreement, you are completely wrong. This agreement in simple words was this. Is my soldiers surrendered, I will see the Hijaz in the name of the Ottoman to prevent Muslim bloodshed. Okay, D. The Arabs entered the city with their horses and pillaged more than 4,750 homes for 12 straight days. During the siege, grasshoppers rained on the city of Medina, so Fakhreddin Pasha said about them to take them, cook them, and eat them. Even so, we must protect the city of our prophet, Fakhreddin Pasha. British had a talent, it would be betrayal. And in accordance to this Stalin, they signed the sykes picot Agreement with France to divide the living between each other, betraying the older agreement with the Heishmites. So the British kicked the Heishmites out of the agreement, gave the South some land, and take control of their oil and their economy. Then the exiled Sheriff Hussein to Cyprus, who regrets his betrayal then returns to Jordan, where he dies due to a stroke. Ultimately, the Great Arab Revolt, which promised an Arab state from Yemen to Syria, turned into the failed Arab Revolt. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and stay tuned to the next video.